Corner. Today I'm going to do an updated video for you guys on European dishwashers. I'm going to teach you how to clean it thoroughly, why you need to use salt, which for this video or for your European dishwasher, you will need salt. I've got two different brands, doesn't matter what kind, and depending on what's easier for you, different size funnel. I'm also going to teach you how to deep clean your dishwasher. Are you ready? Let's get started. I recommend you clean your dishwasher at least once a month. It needs a good deep cleaning because food and different things will get stuck in there. Before I do my salt, we're going to take out the dish racks, so making it easier to put the salt in. Now, a lot of people don't know that we need salt in your European dishwashers. And you need salt because there's a higher magnesium and calcium content here. They also use salt, um, they kind of steam their dishes dry is the easiest way to explain it. Um, and that funnel won't work. Okay, so I grab two. Um, they uh, kind of steam their, dish their dishes. <laughs> um, we're going to put the salt in. Come on. Well, I probably shouldn't have got that wet. So if you totally submerge the inside of your funnel, you can just kind of take your funnel. We're just going to. Kind <laughs> of a fun time. Don't worry, we're going to get the salt in there. Okay, we're just going to kind of curve the hand because you can see there's a lot of water that's going to run out. And all my... There we go. Okay. You're going to see all the water come out, which isn't a big deal. But if you don't have um, salt in your dishwasher, your dishes may not be drying. And it's because you're not getting everything, you're not getting the calcium and everything cleaned up. You can wait a few seconds, let all that get down in there. I'm just going to take this. And it's okay if there's a little bit extra salt, because you can just run it through. It's not going to be a big, huge deal. Alrighty. And you got your salt in there. Voila. I can close it now. Now, I'm going to take, if your dishes aren't getting clean, it could be because these holes are clogged. This can also come off on the top. Now all you do is you just take this off and you rinse it. If the water runs clear the whole way through, then you're fine. Also in European dishwashers, they don't have a garbage disposal system like we do. They have a mesh netting. You're going to want to pull this out and clean these. Food does get stuck in here, especially if you have children loading your dishwasher. And you can see right now, there's even a few things stuck on here. And you just rinse it up, plain and simple. Right. I'm going to put some of these back down here for right now. I'm not going to load them in yet because I'm going to show you how to take apart a few things. And I, I do want to thank Samantha for lending me her dishwasher and uh, let me teach her how to deep clean and put salt in her dishwasher. Alrighty. Now, we talked earlier about these little holes. And you're going to see this little clip on here. It's very easy to do. All I do is take a spoon, something. You don't want to do a knife because, you know, if you're like, eh, and jab yourself. Not that anyone has ever done that. It's okay. Yeah, I make everyone laugh. Let me just pop this off as I put it back on. That's why I do a spoon. Let me just pull these off. Okay, I say that now. Here we go. There, plain and simple. Sometimes there'll be food even stuck in here and different things here. And you just take it and you can see, let me turn the water slower. You can see we got water coming out the holes. And then too, we also don't hear anything going back and forth. This is cleaned out, very simple. And we just put it back on. Now if we're cleaning here, Drops. We're just going to take a little bit of detergent and gently clean it. Now, if you clean off your plates and you're very thorough on that, still clean this, check it about once a month. And then here, and just kind of clean it through. It's not really hard. But you can see too, even on here, some of the things that are stuck on here is actually um, different calcium deposits. And you will notice a big difference when you put salt in your dishwasher. Um, the easiest way to explain it 
when you first put this, when you don't have salt in your dishwasher and you go to open it, it's like a little, when you put salt in your dishwasher and you open it, when there's salt in there, it's like whoosh, facial, because um, there's going to be so much more steam. You don't need any harsh sebaceous cleaners or anything like that. And there's also one of these on your top rack, and I'll show you also how to take that off too, where if food is still stuck on, or if you grab your glasses out and you can feel um, there's, you know, like a little grime or something on there. Yeah. And this is really good to do, especially um, for military, we move so much. And uh, sometimes people don't know to clean those extra things. Oh my gosh, my hair is so much in my face right now. It's not like it's 100 degrees and we decided to film out in Germany, no. That'd be crazy. Um, <laughs> and, and I'm crazy. Um, but uh, when, and there's still some stuff stuck on here. Yeah. But yeah, when we move so much and there's different people that just, they don't know to clean them. It's not like they're dirty people. They just don't know. And uh, if there's stuff that's stuck on my dishes, I want it to be my own grime, not someone else's. Yeah. Yeah, I know, right? You think about that. It's like getting into a hot tub that's not clean. And uh, when you don't have salt and you're wanting your dishes to dry, um, you're making your dishwasher work harder. Some dishwashers already have a built-in where it's in there automatically, but most European dishwashers, you do need to put salt in. There are some places where you can live in Europe where there's a nice content of, you know, it's just good good water so it doesn't have the same high calcium deposits that we have. All right, we're gonna let this dry. Now we're gonna take the top rack and two, you can clean all these with a fine toothbrush. You know, they pull off really simple. I say that and watch this one not come off. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm not gonna try that one just because, you know. <laughs> but to take this off, you can also take this off too. Again, you can use um, my hands aren't strong enough, but you can see here, there's different things in here. And that's, we're just going to take the sponge in there and clean it. But very simple. Again, you just take this off. You just pull, twist, it comes right off, and you can see. This is very clean, so there's not a lot of stuff stuck in there. But again, if you have children, and I say this because there's so many parents out there, where are you, Mom? I cleaned all the dishes. And you come and, like, you can see beans and corn and all this stuff on the bottom of the dishwasher. Yeah, they, didn't, they didn't scrape the dishes. Yeah. And we got water running through those ones. And then we'll get water running through these ones. And you can see right here there's water. And if we pull, plug up these holes, if I can get it in there, you can see water start to come out of the other ones. So all these holes are good and clean. You can take a bottle brush. And I got some little fuzzes on here. You can take a bottle brush and really scrub thoroughly on the insides of these. And this Actually, does come I have off a too. bottle brush right over there. Shut up. How dare you know your house? <clears throat> okay. Gonna get a little bit more soap. But this is something really easy to do. Like I said, you could do a deep cleaning like this once a month. Um, if you don't use your dishwasher, um, then you don't have to worry so much. And you can see, well, let me dry it now. Because <laughs> I got all the suds in there. You can see all the suds. Okay. Yeah. Take the towel here. You can see now that's all cleaned up. Oh, you can see one spot. Said I'd clean your dishwasher if you let me film. Come on, I gotta keep my word. All right. <clears throat> that's all clean. This is all clean. Just put it back on. Oh, oh, it's not on. One way to make sure it goes is, is to tighten it and then you just pull it. If it doesn't come off, it's good and tight. 
Now before I put this back on and put this in, if you don't use your dishwasher a lot, you're going to get mold. And the biggest thing is that you can see the water down in that hole. And that's normally fine, but if you're not going to use your dishwasher, you, I personally don't know of a way to drain that out. Um, so just take a hand towel, take your towel, and dry that area out. Then whoop, you can take a wooden spoon and you can just push it up right here. And with a wooden spoon, hang on, you have to have a wooden spoon. You got a spoon handy? Should we do? Uh, sure. So you can take a spoon oh. right here and you just prop it. And then it stays, which this one's too small. And then it will stay and you can air out your dishwasher. Hmm. But you're going to want to make sure you have all of the water out, otherwise you're just going to be stuck having a melting dishwasher. Put this one in first. And we put this back in. We put this in. And we put this one in right here. And it just snaps and it's locked. You see it's locked? You can't well, you can pull it out, but it stays in there pretty good. Then we will take the next bit. And you can see too, there's different calcium throughout here, and we're gonna wash that off too. Um, because it can't have all the calcification and all that stuff on the dishwasher because otherwise it's not going to be able to steam properly to wash your dishes or to dry your dishes. I mean, you don't have to, you know, have your dishes dry. You can open it and let it air dry, especially here in Europe during the summer. You don't want to heat your house up. So I recommend you run your dishwasher early, early in the morning or late at night. You can, you can also go on to uh, Sujin's Corner. I have several tips on how to stay cool in Europe without AC. Alrighty, now we are going to add in. And a lot of people don't know that different trays for your silverware can get hooked together and make one blah and it just makes one big one. Or you can separate it out. Depends on your own personal preference. Now we're going to put this tray back in. This one back over. Put you back in. If these don't roll away on me, which they're going to. And there we go, we got one here. Yeah, come on. And one there. That's good. There we go. And like I said, you can take a few. This is really clean. Um, you can find brush, you can brush this with a, you can wash it with a fine brush. Let me just clean this up. Do, 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 do. And also check too to see if your um, dishwasher, you also need um, different rinsing agents. Some dishwashers, um, I am sad to say that they will not run without having a rinsing agent or the salt. I encourage everyone to look up their make and model of their dishwasher to know all your settings. I'm going to give a quick example here of the settings um, and I don't know her dishwasher this is just from mine again it's an opinion I encourage you guys to look up um, the information of your dishwasher model um, if you can't find it in English you can go to Google Translate um, but this is for the different ones here this is like for it shows a pan it's going to get hotter um, so it's more heavy duty if you're putting pots and pans in there this is just an automatic temperature this is like if you have lighter dishes and then just need a rinse and stuff like that. And that's where it's the different levels of how long you need it to wash to and the depth of the cleaning because when you're using and you're cleaning your pots and pans, that's gonna need a longer setting when you just wanna rinse your dishes if you're just doing a quick wash, you know, or in between and then the automatic. And that's where normally from my house because um, we will throw some um, pots in there every once in a while, um, I use this one or I use this one depending on these are the most common two that I use, 
And um, when you need different things, when you turn on your dishwasher, um, like right now, um, this is the setting she has it on, it doesn't need salt. Um, I'm going to turn it off because we don't need it to run. Um, but um, it shows it also needs a rinsing agent in there. Um, and that's really simple. Your rinsing agent just goes in right here. I actually have some uh, rinsing agent we're going to go ahead and put in here. I believe this is the spot or this is the spot. So we're going to put it in, let it drain down. Close it up. And let's see. Here we go. And the light is not on anymore. Her rinsing agent is in. A lot of people use the all-in-one tablets to wash their dishes. That has false states in it. Um, it's not good for the environment. You get um, much easier and cheaper to buy the salt. Um, it doesn't matter if you buy one brand or generic. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. I will have the same information for you in the description. I look forward to hearing from you. Um, like and subscribe and keep an eye out. I will be making more videos on things you need to know before you come to Germany. I look forward to hearing from you. Thanks. Bye.